Hey guys, it's the one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Today, we're returning to a long lost relic <laughs> of the city that was never completed uh, because it's incredibly difficult to do uh, and it's the subway. So, oh it's the sound of the bikes. So if I go down these stairs, we go past the ticket machines and we uh, go through this open barrier. We get to our subway. We've got a load of uh, like graffiti up on the wall. We've got the train here, the little waiting area. Although I think they are floating, which is a little bit strange. <laughs> it's not the best designed. I love the roof and I like the poles and stuff, but I mean, the design isn't really the greatest. But we can worry about that later. We can come over the bridge. We can come down this side to get to this track. And we've got the train in the middle. Okay, so. The way that this train track or this subway works, in fact, if we go back outside, I might be able to explain it a little bit better. I've actually done more on this than I remember doing. I must have sat down one night and just absolutely grinded out. So underneath the world, if we imagine, let's, in fact, let's, let's build our island, okay? So let's say... This is our island here, okay? We're looking from like a, a top-down perspective, like a model, a model version of it, okay? Fill this in. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I needed, I need to make it big for this the uh, diagram that we're going to put on top of it, but this takes ages to put down. Okay, so there is our island, yeah, and uh, the pier is here and the mountain is here yeah you get it you get the idea uh you, you guys work it out now underneath the world we have these train tracks so these train tracks are we have the station where we're at right now which is right here in fact if i use yellow for a station let's give it that for distraction purposes so we have like a station here and you go down and I think there's another station here and then you go this way and I think the way that I've got it I think the way that I've got it is it's like this and then down the middle is like another one okay so it's basically like a if I extend this out it's basically like a figure of eight okay underneath the island underneath all of it can i zoom out of this i think i'm zoomed out as far as i can go with this yeah um it's basically like a figure of eight but this figure of eight has two tracks obviously it has like the left track and it has the right track and from what i can tell or from what i can remember in the traincraft mod that we've got uh, and, and like vanilla Minecraft, it's very difficult to do like T junctions. Yeah, like when you've got like a spot like this, when you're going this way, you're going to go straight on, or you can go left. Now, obviously, Minecraft has has like a a, a turn one, and you can power it with redstone, and it'll flick it to either direction and stuff. Uh, I'm sure the Traincraft mod has something like that. But the way we're going to do it instead is to clear all of this area. <laughs> Get rid of this again. And I do second demonstration of the day. And, and that is going to be to do, if you imagine this is the right hand track and this is the left hand track. When you get to a T junction, let's say there's a T junction here, this track is going to go straight on. But this track is going to turn in and then same on the other side this track is going to come out and go this way which then gives you the option when you're at the station here you go right where am i going am i going to that station over there or am i going to that station over there if i'm going to that station i need to get on this train because this track goes to there if i'm going to that one then i need to go up and over the bridge to get to this track so when i go down it i go that way yeah and i think that is the way that our underground subway 
is going to work. And I think, surprisingly, I've actually done the hard work. I haven't done the long work, though. Because if we go down here, I just had a quick fly through, and I was really surprised to see which is why we want to do this episode today. Or at least have a look at it and get some ideas. Is if we go in here. Now the track isn't all the way down. I need to place all the track. And then the second thing I need to figure out. See, it's a lot of, there's a lot of like weird bits like this. I need to put the lighting down in here. Uh, because it's it's dark all the way, so we'll get a night vision potion, and it actually gets darker. So if we get one of these down for us. I need to find out if these trains can go around these 90 degree corners. Um, I know the... What is it? RTS? What was it? RTS? Or, or, or train craft, or something like that. I know, I know one train couldn't i think the original trains that we had upstairs couldn't yeah because if you look on the map see above the ground there we've got 90 degree corners there um i know what one train mod couldn't and it was the japanese mod that we ended up removing and replacing with the mod that we've currently got because that can do 90 degree corners although that isn't that isn't a 90 degree corner well it is a 90 degree corner but it's not like a a straight one and um, it's a medium curve what was it called turn very large medium and large so that is the smallest that we can do a turnstile oh that's i've got to just take a, a peek at this i bet this is huge oh no but it's it's our ticket booth <gasps> Ticket book, remaining 11, and ticket, let's get one of each. <laughs> and you get it back! Where'd it go? Oh, you only get it back if you, oh no, it's there, I see. Oh, that's the ticket book I'm using. Oh, I can use the ticket book as well. How many does it say I got? 10. Right, I didn't go through it. It's, oh, it says 9, okay. So you can use a ticket book. And it counts. Oh, it still says nine. I got a free one. <laughs> oh, that is that is so cool. Down we go. And yeah, I can't go through. That is the coolest thing ever. Anyway. So, getting on then. So, I need to change the corners. That's not too much of an issue, I don't think. I'm sure I probably... Did I use medium on them both? Or did I use large on the outside? No, I'm sure I already used medium on them both. So, if we go down here... My night vision potion is going to run out. Oh, no, we've got loads of time. And you might think, oh, AJ, this isn't too far to get to this one. No, you're right. It's not too far. But the next one is. It's crazy far. So as you can see here, see how we were talking about upstairs? Uh, the uh, the track here goes left and this track goes straight on. So you come down here and boom, we get to another train station. Now, I have no route up on any of these, as you can see. You can't access the surface in any of these, apart from the original one, the paintings are missing on the wall, but I don't really mind that. Um, we can put those in afterwards and stuff. So we can go all the way through here. And as you can see on the map here, we're like city centre now. We're, we're, we're um, sort of in the skyscraper district, which is why I think we put this here. But then if we turn right at the end here, I'm not joking you, this is the longest like track you could ever do i can see why i never bothered to put anything down i'm i'm running at sprint speed here and it takes an eternity so we're going past the football stadium i should probably put a station in here um i think that would be handy and then have it come out by this sandy area if you can see on the map there because there's nothing on that so i could add another station in there and then you keep going up. And I think there's two stations, same as on the like 
track where we first started. So there's one station here by the multi-story car park and the beach. So I've got like one light here and then nothing again. I think that was a train that fell down then. I, I wondered what that was. I think the train just spawned into place. And then we have another one here. But I can't remember when I was going down that middle one if there was actually two stations there or one. I think there's only one. So I think in total there's five stations that we can we can get out of. Oh, is there only one on this side? One there. Oh, no, there is one there, isn't there? Was there one there? Did I go through one? I can't even... Yeah, 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 there is one, yeah. So then there's one here by the hotel. So there's, there's five from what I can tell. If I can get the outer loop done and worked out, I think that would be good. Let's get the night vision potion back again. And I'm going to keep this medium turn on us. And what we're going to do, try and do here is work out how much I need to take away. Fortunately, there's not too many corners. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Technically, eight of these I'm going to have to put down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, 12 or 14 or something something like that so if i do this oh nope i want to go forward one How? there we go so that's the turn that we would want and that's the turn that we would want but i don't know if the train hits that or not Like, I, I, I'm i really not sure. Like, I can place them there, and I can't place them on that. So, maybe our best bet here is very large, low, no, 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 um, rail? I don't even know what it's, what would it be called? Train craft, no. Train craft guide. That's probably something that I should look at. Um, <laughs> uh, train craft. I just want some track here. See, there is there is a parallel switch that we can do. In, but if we if we put switches in, we then don't really have a way that easily to control. I'm sure there probably is um, to control them when we're going along. I I just like the a, a simple a simple way of doing it. Large. I don't want slope. I've got medium. I want small, and I want large. La nope, that's an, a large 90 degree switch. Straight, there we go. So, if we put large in. Oh, really? That's large? <laughs> I was expecting this to be sort of the medium one. Okay, um, so if I do a little bit more down that way, so if we go back to large, just a little bit here, just so we can get a train to go around it, and then if I come back this way again, we'll do the inside track. We'll see if the trains can get round them, our, our own mission here. how long this is going to take to put this track down the entire length of the city oh look at that perfect so we grab this train oops you know i done that last time i just pushed the train and it completely disappeared um let's just have a train we'll put it here that's not on the track how am i going to Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Facing the right direction. Uh, let's get an empty hand, and I jump in here, and then I need redstone. I don't know if I can use blocks. I probably could use blocks. Start engine. I think I think the brake is off. Ooh. Where 
where am I? <laughs> I'm on the other side of the world? Oops. <laughs> oh, man. Um. Okay. Maybe. See the the other the other problem that we're going to have in general with this subway is that um, I can only technically have three trains: uh, one train for this inner loop, one train for this inner loop, and one train for the outer loop. Um, I'm just going to fly around these. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll be back. I'm going to go around. I'm just going to take away all the other trains um, for the minute, <laughs> and then we'll give it another test. Okay, I think I've removed every other train. Um, I don't really know what happened because I teleported across the map. Like, that's the fastest travel you could ever possibly do. I think the only thing that might have happened is that this train somehow... It's facing the wrong way. This train somehow coupled with another one. How do I get it to face the other way? How do I remove it? Oh. Man, these trains are so much of a pain to place. So much of a pain. There. Wham, got it. Okay, uh, redstone. And we shall try again. Now, there's no other train for it to couple to now. Um, let's put a little bit in there. Okay, here we go again. I'm back over here. Oh, there were so many trains there. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. <laughs> we teleported again. Maybe I missed those trains? I don't think I did. Um, but instead, we're going to put the track here and this will be our new test area <laughs> where if we're teleporting to this area we might as well just build it here you watch me teleport straight over to the other side maybe i can see why i never bothered to um finish this now maybe maybe it's all coming back to me I don't want nothing to sort of inhibit me. Okay. So let's give this another go then. I've got nowhere for the train to teleport me to. I need some more redstone. I don't know how much redstone you, you need to run it or anything. Okay. Ah. Uh, put that in there. Okay, we're moving. Okay, so can I get around this corner? I'm going to stay inside. Yes! And we can break. And we stopped. Okay, that's promising. And the outside track, the train noise is still going. If we put that in, perfect. We get inside here. I hit the wrong button. We put some power in. Yes. I'm going to go gently round the corner. I don't know if I can absolutely belt it round the corner. Because I know these trains can go nutty fast. Oh, I can't put the brake on. I'm going too fast. Ooh, I'm going backwards. I forgot they could do that. Nope. That's what the break is for. Okay, fine. So, mission successful. Mission very successful, in fact. So, we hardly have to remove any blocks from here at all, in fact. It went round both ways absolutely fine. In fact, that could probably stay there as well. And then you just change this block to that. 
and then that's the least damage caused to the track like as a whole i tell you what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put down all the track and do all the corners i'll be back in like four hours okay i am on the final stretch no real hiccups i had a, an invisible train i think somewhere in the way i somehow picked up a minecart when i destroyed an invisible block and it wouldn't place so i had to like bury it underneath the ground before i could <laughs> continue placing track but it's just small sort of minor problems um i've been thinking about the uh the the switching thing do you know what i mean like like having a track that goes straight on and to the right I thought of another downside to that as well so not only if we have a junction do we have to worry about uh, being able to switch it while being inside the train we had the added complication of trains running into other trains doing it this way the way that we've done it allows us to have three trains one on each track that can never touch another train which is a big bonus right so they can't run into anything else i think that's all of it i think we're done uh so so they'll never run into each other and it allows us to have three trains on the tracks at once now i'm sure if i read into traincraft the book i've never actually opened this at all i have no idea read oh my god page five of 122 <laughs> i should really read this derailment do not go too fast or your old locomotives will derail it's recommended to slow down under 90 kilometers an hour before turning or you'll find yourself crashing right click both cuts with a stake in your hand and it'll say attaching mode on and then make them collide and it will say attached do not make trains too long if they're weak uh-huh colors you can change the color chunk loading each rolling stock can load one chunk around itself to start loading a chunk right click with the chunk loader activator okay so that's if you're like transporting things across chunks that aren't loaded i'm wondering because i thought of another cool thing that we could do let's say that we're on the outside track okay which does four stations this station the station over there the station in that corner and the station in that corner and if we're on the outside track and let's say that the train is in that corner over there we'll never be able to get the train here i'm wondering if there's a way that we can like push a button and it'll drive the train itself around the track to our station that would be amazing and maybe maybe chunk loading has something to do with that making special pulls armors generates visual villagers villager villager will trade you train craft i oh okay this page was intentionally left blank it's a joke yeah okay so that's how to make it all i just want if there's a way that we can activate a train from far away what is this man the survival version of this is crazy i don't know if you're meant to use this mod on such a distance um like we're we're, we're literally going uh, a thousand blocks is is about the width of the of the thing so if i do that high speed carriage and i get one of these down as well because i'd like the trains to be able to go either way oops i've bonked into it uh, so stake did it say a stake yes so if we click that attaching mode for passenger car attached Ooh. and then if we do this one here and i do that and i do that and then i push them can i push it is it going anywhere Okay, maybe if I let's 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 put it a little bit closer. Okay. Whew. It got close. Did it attach? Oh, they've got lights on the front. Do they actually work? That would be amazing. If I don't think that's th these ones are attached, are they? 
if I uh, redstone, I think I've got some redstone in my inventory. Um, get rid of that. Okay, we're in. And I put a little bit in here. If I just back it up a little bit. Note that's forward. I'm still going forward. Break! How, why am I not breaking? Break! Oh, I see. It's directional based. Gotcha. Okay, so that train carriage is technically with me. Somehow. Okay. Break! Whoa! 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 I need to go that way. Whoa! 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 I need. To, I need to remember. It's. 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 It's the what way my camera is looking. Okay. It's. It's coming out. It's coming out. We'll wait until it's all the way out. I'd like to get the train have two fronts on it. Okay. Break. Good. Click that. Attached. Does that mean it's good then? Oh, I've got the brake on. No, it's still not good. Okay, uh, hang on, get out. <laughs> no! Come back! <laughs> okay, for the minute then... We'll take that away. Take that away. Let's start again. We'll get we'll get that one down. We'll get that one down. We'll attach those two up. Okay, that definitely attached. We'll go inside this train, and I just want to go around the loop. Let's get a splash potion so we can see. Uh, let's put some redstone in here. I have no idea how quickly it uses up redstone, and. Oops, let's roll. Okay, so that carriage is definitely staying with us now. So we need to stay below 90 to go around a corner, really. <laughs> okay, now this is a straight bit. We can really make it cook here. So if we really crank up the speed. Oh, we're going so fast. Oh, we're going so fast. Uh, break, 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 break. I can see the corner coming up on the map. Break, 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 break. Below 90. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get around at 85. It's pretty fast to get around. This is like fly, sprint flying speed. Hey, we got round. Okay. So let's. Let's see if we can get around a hundred. Ah. Where are we? Oh, we're back here again. Maybe it... Maybe that's a crash then? I don't know why I would have crashed at that point. Unless... Unless there's an invisible train there, which is... Because that's the same spot that we had troubles with last time, wasn't it? On that outside track. We had troubles there last time. Okay, let's get another carriage now. Let's see if we can do this again properly. With another train here. It feels like I've done nothing today. Yes. Yes. Okay, what if I just back this train up then? Just gently, gently back this train up. Oh, attached. No forward. No, no, don't. Don't crash the train. There's no way that that's attached. It says attached. I don't think it is. How to get back in. Yeah, it's like in between the two now, isn't it? That's, that's why the train is going all funky like that. Hang on, hang on. 
so maybe I need to do something in this train like have the engine going maybe both need to be to be going so may, maybe now oh no I've got the brake on the other one haven't I oh this is this is too complicated for my little brain if you guys know this then then let me know Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh! The train... is sort of coming? See, now I'm gonna... Uh, now that I'm going faster in this one, so I'm gonna push through, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, may I'm 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 not doing something right here. Yeah, I'm doing something I'm doing something really wrong with that. Okay, I want to do a full lap of the inside track then. Let's get that in. These two are still connected. If I catch back up to this one. Splash. And we we give it some cook. Let's leave it at like, I don't know, it said 90, I'm going to try 100 around this corner, 99, that's as close as I can get. So 99 around this corner here, we'll see if we derail, if we can get one lap of a, an inside track done, I'll be happy. I think the outside track, I think there's something in the way, I think there's an invisible train somewhere, maybe logging in and logging out would fix it. Hey, we made it round, Did the, yeah, we made it round, 90. <laughs> Oops, that way, look forward. So we're going to make another corner here. And then we need to get uh, stairways up to the surface on all five junctions, or on all five stations. You know, 99, that's a pretty good speed to be able to get around on as well. It's not too fast. If I do, if we get a full lap done, so if I get back to the original... Hey, I crashed again. Where am I now? I'm now on this track going... I'm now on the outside track going the other way? Why did I turn? Huh? There's... There was no corner track anywhere there. And yet I've just turned. I'm now going in the opposite direction on a different track. I was on that track and I should have been coming that way. Huh? <laughs> You know what, guys? I don't. I don't know what is going on here. Um, I've got a sneaky suspicion that this mod probably isn't designed to be used over such great distances. Um, I mean, a thousand blocks isn't that far, but I suppose it. I suppose it is is quite a distance for what we're trying to do. We'll leave it going. We'll see if we'll, we'll see what happens when we get to the same spot again. So we, we got about to the station. Oh, got a tummy camera. We got like, did we just get just through the station and then it, yeah, just here. And then this one completely crashes. And we're actually on the other side of the map. Now, if I get out of the train, we actually teleport to the other side of the world. The train, no train, train, train. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> It's going 99 kilometers an hour. It looks like maybe your your fly speed is 100 because I'm slowly catching it. <laughs> no. I suppose I could wait back there and it would probably glitch back off again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're, we're back on the inside track again now. Oh, I, I might leave it then. If I leave it here... I derailed about here, or I teleported somewhere down here, didn't I? Is it going through this time? Yeah, it, it, it just did there. And it, it actually turned. That fully turned, didn't it? It didn't like bounce off. It, it, it like trouble is. I think that trade is probably now going back that way again. If 
if it's still moving and on the track, it might go past here. It might have already gone past and I might have been out of render this. This, this is like its own little fun thing to do on its own. <laughs> I have no clue. What would be really cool is if you could leave the trains running at all times. And you just sort of jump on the train as it goes. So this is the carriage here. I don't know why that bit's missing. Oh, there's a... Um, that might be the train. Yeah, that's the train again. So that's the same one. It's still... The engine's still going on it. Okay, I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm going to try once more. This is, this is a long episode for me. I'm going to I'm gonna go all the way around again. In fact, let's just floor it to this junction and see if we can derail it for one. Let's just do like 120 or something, 127. Hey, we still got round. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop before the derailed part and I'm going to strip the track and I'm going to put it down again. Okay, so I'm going to start braking here. And I'm going to bring it down to a stop. Somewhere safe. Splash. I can't actually splash myself. I'm moving too fast. Okay. So let's stop here. Put the brake on. Oh, I'm stuck inside something. Where am I? I'm above the train. Splash. There, right, cool. Okay, so if I just go around this corner here, and I'm going to replace all of the straight track from here to the station. I, we, ne we never made it to the station, did we? So if we remove all of this... That was weird. I was deleting underneath the track then. Did you see that? That could be a good thing. That could be like what was causing an issue. We'll put this back. If it still derails, then maybe the subway is going to have to be a, um, a, a visual thing, an aesthetical build and not actually function. Because, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe you guys can let me know. But, uh, I'm pretty stuck. Okay, and let's go slower. Let's go like 30 kilometers an hour. And we'll get around the corner. If we get to the station, we're in good. Oh my god, this is so slow. I'm gonna have to speed it up. Okay. 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 Oh. And I've crashed here. On a straight bit. But you know what? I think that is where we got up to changing the track as well, isn't it? I think we stopped here and it's and it's it's broken there. Where, where we've just replaced it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We've actually got a lot of stuff done today. It might not seem like it, but I've got all the track down. Uh, once we get these exits done, I think at the very least, it's a really nice aesthetical thing to have down here as like an escape route. If you're running away from someone, you can come into the, into the subway and stuff like you do on GTA. We shall see you guys in the next episode.